Hiya, and welcome back to Password. The game that teaches us that because the the horror in this game is so fucked up that we'll take comfort in literally anything. Anyways, let's just hop right in. I forgot to fix that. Anyways. Yep. A set of lazy footfalls entering the room distracted the both of us from Thanatos, still on the table to look at Oswin as he entered from the foyer. Good morning. Hiya. Morning. Hey, Oswin. Found this rat. Does he belong to you? With a sigh, Oswin looked down to Thanatos. He may as well. I hope he hasn't been misbehaving. Hang on, let me turn down my microphone a bit. Well, he did just bite me. You were treating him kind of rough, though. Yes, well, I'll be taking him back now. Come along, Thanatos. Thanatos looked back towards Dean and then me, staying put on a spot on the table. Thanatos, I swear I'll pick you up at the scruff if I have to. Won't that hurt him? Trust me, he'll be fine. Uh, sure, I guess so. Before anyone could say anything, Oslin picked up Thanatos, looking him over. Next time, stay in her damn cage. He was unceremoniously shoved into one of Oswin's pockets and out of sight in a flash, leaving the three of us in silence. Sorry about that. He's prone to misbehaving. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to go make myself some coffee. I'll bring it out for you as well before I head, on, head to bed, Dave. <laughs> Thanatos is a little shit. I took a seat next to Dean and the two of us watched Oswin disappear into the kitchen. When he was out of sight, Dean put an arm over the back of my chair and leaned in close. Do you reckon he knows that rat isn't alive? I spun my head quickly to look at Dean, eyes bulging out of my head. What do you mean? <laughs> well, it looks alive, but it's not. It's gotta be robotic. No way a normal rat is that heavy. Plus that bite. He showed me his hand, still weeping with a small trickle of blood. Murder. Ah. That was some batting force. Dean! You're bleeding! Oh, it'll stop soon enough. Good thing my hands are a little calloused from yard work, huh? Coffee for you, Dave. Should anyone need me today, let Benson know and he can come get me. I have some... things to attend to. Ah! What things? Disciplining a rat, for starters, but mostly just making sure everything in it, everything's in its place. Would not hurt to make sure the vault is still operational should the worst happen. Yeah, it's been a few days since anything happened. Think we're still at risk? I can't confirm that we're not. And it's not as if I have anything better to do. You could stick around the rest of us and maybe we could watch a movie? I shall pass, thank you. Although there's some merit into your idea. If the Anatos wasn't a factor, I wouldn't have minded a dip in the hot tub. Even with, well, people in the woods? I wouldn't go unarmed, mind you. Although I do see some level of carelessness in that. So is going outside just out of the question? In the back of my mind, the thought of Thanatos taking me all the way into the hedge maze made me wonder how much of a risk I had taken by following his whims. Don't mind me. Just showing who is the boss of the manor. <laughs> right? Alone, perhaps. But so long as you're someone with you, or if you're armed, or perhaps hidden enough, it should be fine. He stroked his beard soon after, thinking it over. Well, I'll be going now. If anything comes up, tell Benson. I warmed my hands with the coffee he brought me, watching him leave before turning to Dean. Where were we? Oh, yeah! You're bleeding! I said I'm fine. It's already slowing down. Those stings a little. Serves you right for messing with an animal like that, though. You mean robot. You don't know that. Yes, not. Although, if you get a chance to hold that rat, you tell me how it compares to a regular one. <laughs> Roswell made himself known at this point, having arrived shortly behind Orlando. I believe the line was, Good morning, do you think you're going to be less of an asshole today, or should I just go back to bed? Orlando, go apologize. That's... not a good idea. Not only he's in as much of a mood as he's in. Then after. Fine, but I'm not going anywhere near him until he's calmed down. So, Orlando... No, not Orlando. Roswell's still being an ass. Oh yeah? Who? If what Rothwell was said was right about it being that 
tank aronium bromide stuff, then what about Othwin? I guess that could be a possibility. He'd at least be able to have access to it. That's what I was thinking. If he looks enough like a doctor to play the part, he might have just been able to get them. Maybe have some left over from when he was a doctor. I don't think that's how that works. Mom doesn't have that sort of stuff just in the house back home, you know. I guess you're right. There's something else, though. What? Orlando fidgeted slightly before wandering over to the door leading into the room. Yeah. So, it could have been Oswin or Benson. Unless someone else knew about this passage, we really don't have anyone else to suspect, right? Right. <sighs> yeah, there's just going to be a lot of skipping. With the exception of Oswin and Benson, everyone else was here. But having seen neither hide nor hair of Oswin since this morning made me worry. Oh, okay. Or if not worry, curious. Plus, I had some words for him after what I'd figured out. Question was, which way should I go to the lab? Or would it be better to find Benson and ask to see Oswin? All things considered, if Benson wasn't around, I couldn't rightly ask him anyway, so that made the decision easier. Dave, what are you thinking about? Just wondering where Oswin is, or Benson even. It's a wonder we haven't seen either of them, unless someone's just forgotten to mention it. A quick look around the table indicated no one else had seen him as they collectively shrugged or shook their heads in turn. Saved by the power of love. Yay. Gonna give... Gonna give fucking Benson that Care Bear stare. Gonna give him a Care Bear stare. He's going to be like, oh, no. Oh, no. The power of friendship. <laughs> and then Benson just croaks. <laughs> if that's what happens, then I'm going to die. <laughs> Probably somewhere in the house, right? Not as if they'd go out and leave us to fend for ourselves. That makes sense, yes. Just seems unlikely that we'd miss them is all. I was thinking about going to check in is all. See if either of them had figured out a plan for the next couple of days, or even if they're hungry. I'm sure they're fine. Benson's likely got things covered given he's a butler, right? Benson. Oh no, the power of love, it's too much, I can't ruin this. Gay love beam go! Just, Dave is just like, gay love beam God! Fucking <laughs> Kamehameha waves. Give me the butler, right? I think checking is worth it. It wouldn't harm to ensure they're both okay. I'll go do it now. I finished eating anyway. You're going alone? Well, yeah. Shouldn't be a problem, should it? The house is secure. There hasn't been anyone else lingering around as far as we know, right? Roswell fidgeted on the spot, looking me over. There was something in how he did it that made me feel odd. What's wrong? I don't know, just, I should go with you, just in case. I frowned, thinking that if Roswell were to come, I'd miss my chance to properly talk to Oswin, and by extension, Thanatos were he to be around. It'll be alright, Roswell, promise. But, Dave... It'll be fine. Sal put a hand on Roswell's shoulder, shooting him a look. If anything happens, or if you find something wrong, just yell and we'll come running. I don't think we need to keep together so long as you're just staying in the house. Then Sal shot me a very serious look, hand leaving Roswell's shoulder. Don't let it be like the other day when you wandered outside without telling anyone where you went. A chill ran down my spine, being made to remember how that went. I promise, no leaving the house, and if anything happens, I'll just yell. Good. The moment he eased up, it seemed to say to everyone else at the table who had similar thoughts. Not that it did much to calm Roswell, who still seemed to take issue about me going alone. But I'd just have to make up it. Make it up with to him later. Rushing out of the dining room, I'm made to leave for the basement. After all, it seemed like the most direct route to the lab without needing to go all the way upstairs and circle back down. After yesterday, I looked at the hidden door, wondering if I should knock or just go wandering down there. For I knew what I was doing, I'd already opened the door. My decision made. How long do we have again? That depends on what you mean! I could hear the smugness in his voice as I traveled through the dark to the pale green light of the laboratory, followed by the annoyed grumbling of Oz when that followed. You know damn well what I mean, Thanatos! One day, two days, three days, four, it doesn't matter and you know it. Why doesn't it matter? Tell me what I want to know. Until this experiment's over, well, 
I'll get Junior in here and I can tell you both. I froze in my place near the door as Oswin bolted out and nearly ran into me, grabbing me quickly and throwing me inside. What did I tell you about sneaking around? Don't be too hard on him. He's after answers just like you. I, yeah, actually a couple things, but yeah. Fine. Sit down. He gestured to a seat near his desk and I took it, watching Thanatos parade back and forth along the desk. Where's Benson? He'll be here soon. Just getting Oswin here a snack. How much did you overhear? Not a whole lot. Something about how many days until something. Also an experiment? Oh good, you did hear that part. Pay him no mind, Dave. What did you need? Don't yell at the yeen. I came to check in, plus I guess I'll ask a few questions of my own. Like what? Among what this experiment is, what were you doing in the dining room this morning? Answer him. What if I don't want to? I shot Thanatos a confused look scratching my face. What? Answer him! Fine, fine, jeez! Ain't no fun! <laughs> Making a show of stretching out and leaning back against the wall, he looked between Oswin and I before speaking. Alright, so to cover what happened this morning, I wanted to go for a walk. Just a walk? Why not? If Oswin and Benson get to walk around, why can't I? You know damn well why! If you weren't able to stop me in another iteration, what makes you think it could stop me now? About that. If you remember everything that we've ever done, then what's the point of doing anything at all? What do you mean? Like, even you asking that question, you know the answer before I even say it, or what would have happened this morning when Oswin showed up. That's right. Think about it this way. If I know how the conversation is going to go, I can guide it how I want by saying the right things, yeah? You do not have free will. No. But I do have my orders existing from way back to nearly the first time I woke up. <laughs> and that's what exactly? Good luck, Dave. Supposedly, he's been commanded to not reveal that. Then just command him to reveal it? Sorry, no can do. Order says not tell anyone until the experiment is done. Right, what is the experiment anyway? Just the idea of morphic resonance in the vault. Or rather, Thanatos proving that he can do what he was built to do. And the time limit? Well, that depends on you, doesn't it? Meaning? You know that Tyson is the next one at risk. During the full moon, you can always just walk away now and let it happen. There is something worth bringing up here. There is? Consider for a moment that he's orchestrating events to happen in a certain way. Perhaps a vision you saw only came out came about because Thanatos somehow manipulated you into causing it to happen. Big claim! But can you prove it? Alas, I cannot. The only thing I have to rationalize it is the paradox of which event came first. Presumably something happened, and you could be expediting the same sequence of events by different means. Learn you a killjoy! You're right! I just had to take steps to pose it as an obstacle. Depending on what Junior there does tell me what my next job is. Well, I know now, so what's the next job? Keeping you alive. Assuming you can keep Tyson sane for another night. Deadline is tomorrow night, and you should know now what the trigger is. Right. Turn to Oswin with a frown. Why did you tell Ty Thanatos to drive Tyson insane? I did no such thing. His eyes went to Thanatos before returning to me. But... He said... He said all I'm allowed to. We're not done until you tell me how long we have left on the experiment. Surely you know. It's variable. Could end tomorrow night, it could end a week from now, or just under two. I've seen the end of the experiment a few different times, so telling you that it could end any time doesn't help, does it? I could almost hear Oswin grinding his teeth. So, to double check, you came into the dining room this morning to do something, and then did that knowing you'd be caught and then left? I do admit, you are keeping somewhat quiet even after we left. Why? Just setting a failsafe up. If I find myself in the timeline with Memphis, I'd rather not have my body damaged. More people that can re more people that can repair me, the better. But how does Dean finding you help? He's an option, maybe not the best one, but I'll take what I can get. Sure, I'm not going to trust my repairs to the lion who can't put an ECM back together. I scratched my chin thinking it through. If you need repairs, I may as well do it. I think I have another question. Go on. Are you on our side? Like, this experiment is meant to kill us, right? I was hoping you weren't going to ask that question. But here we are. That doesn't sound good. Is it meant to? No. But it's listed as acceptable to achieve a result. 
collateral damage or whatever. There's no way I would have sanctioned that. Good thing it's not your experiment anymore, then, is it? Then whose is it? You're just going to have to find that, find that out yourself. Sorry. I feel like we'd be wasting our time interrogating him further. I already have a headache. Wasn't Benson meant to be coming around? You're right. That's a bit of a worry. I wonder what's keeping him. He won't be long. Sorry for the delay. I'm here now. Benson stirred into the room and placed a cup of tea along with what seemed to be a slice of cake on the desk next to Thanatos. Thanks, Benny boy. You know that's not for you, you abomination. Now, now, be nice. Benson, everything all right? It's unlike you to dawdle. Quite. I had questions to answer the moment I appeared in the dining room. The others informed me that Dave had come looking for the two of us, and a curious young man decided to question me further. You mean Roswell? Indeed. Not that there was any problem with that, although I do apologize for not bringing you refreshments either, Dave. It's fine, I think. You're both alive. I got what I needed, and that's basically it, really. Leaving already? Well, it's not like we can get much out of Thanatos, and I don't think you have anything for me either, right? If he decides to drop any pearls of wisdom, I'll be sure to let you know come this morning. Okay, uh, good night then. Sleep well, Junior. Oh, fuck. I backtracked through the passage and closed the door behind me once I emerged into the basement. Stretching, I headed upstairs and checked the dining room for the others if they were still around. Anyone here? Oh yeah, Ty, Tyson. Fucking love him. Slumber party... Wait, 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 wait. Are we still on path A? Yes, we are. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Yes, we are. We're still on path A. Thanatos being a little shit. Oh. Oh. Heavens, my boy. What's happened? Sorry. Um, good morning. Good morning. Why might you be out here this early? More importantly, by yourself. Just waking up. Figured the fresh air would do me some good. You left the front door open, which was, especially at this hour, quite suspect. Uh, sorry. Quickly slipping out the door, much in the same way Benson had appeared, was Oswin, looking a bit scruffier as if he'd just gotten up himself. Oh, it's just Dave. Yeah, just me. And Benson. Well, yes, I'm aware Benson would be out here. Sorry, did the door being left open bother... bother both of you as well? Not overly. I was mostly just curious as to what was happening out this way. You weren't scared? This is my house. Why would I be scared? He refers to those in the woods. Ah, uh, yes. Well, with Benson around, I'm quite comfortable. Truth be told, right to see that rabbit again, I'd gladly introduce him to a bullet. Right. I looked out to the trees, scanning them for any sign of Jack, for any fleeting glimpse of white that I could catch, but there was nothing. Just various shades of green as far as I could see. Do you have any plans for today, Dave? Only ideas. Why? Ah, uh, never mind then. Did you need me for something? I watched him look to Benson quickly before turning his gaze to me. Not today. Not anymore. Perhaps tomorrow. Are you sure? If it's important, I can make time. We could do whatever it is now. I'd rather hold off. It's hardly important anyway. You're sure? Positive. Okay then, sure. Before I forget, Dave. You'd be best to not leave doors open in future. Especially those leading outside. Don't want to cause anyone to think we've got an intruder now, do we? No, I, I guess not. I'll try and be more mindful in the future. Now, Dave, have you made a pot of coffee yet? No, I, I just came out here. Pity. I'll have to grab one later, then. You're skipping breakfast? More, I have something more pressing to attend to first. And try to take a gamble on coffee being made. And Benson couldn't have made it for you? Well, true, I suppose. Shall I, then? No, I'll, I'll go do it. I'm up. I may as well make breakfast for people, too. If you wish, my boy. Just call out should you need a hand, however. Both of them wandered back inside, leaving me to my thoughts. Turned back to look out at the lawn, just thinking things over. I guess he's kind of busy keeping us all safe, though. The least we can do is keep the place clean. 
God, you're insufferable, says the talking rat robot. Hey now, be nice. Didn't your daddy teach you any manners? Didn't yours? He was staring at Thanatos with a frown, unsure of what to say or do from what I could tell. Why is the Dirk smiling? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm gonna go, go on a bit of a tangent here. Uh, uh. Okay, okay, okay. So we got Thanatos over here just looking a little pissed. Roswell is, you know, looking confused and... Orlando just has a smile on his face. Out of context... Out of context... I would guess that... Orlando got... Orlando got high as hell off of something. Roswell is trying to figure out what... Orlando is saying while he's high as hell. And, like, he's in fucking orbit... Roswell just doesn't give a shit. Or no, Roswell's trying to figure out what Orlando's saying. And Thanatos is just unimpressed. <laughs> can, can anyone else see that? Like, out of context. No, that's probably where we're at. That's probably exactly where we're at. It's just the derg. He was staring at Thanatos with a frown, unsure of what to say or do from what I could tell. Yeah, yeah, that was it. Is that a... I looked from Orlando to Thanatos and back again, nodding. A rat? Dave, a rat in the kitten is not a good thing. Oh, don't worry, he's a pet. Says who? He's not yours, is he? Well, no, but... Well, it's not like he told you himself, did he? I looked at Thanatos uncertain, but all he seemed to be doing was staring at Roswell. Well, come on! Someone help me move something. Find something to move him. Move him? Why move him for? Well, we don't want him falling into the sink, do we? I was thinking we'd put him outside. Or at the very least, out of the kitten. He's fine. He's not hurting anyone. Uh, anyone uh, well, he bit Dean yesterday, but still. So, two things. You knew this rat was here, and he bit Dean... Well, he was treating him pretty rough, so he was asking for it. Well... <laughs> of Thanatos' reactions. Orlando Mar... <laughs> <laughs> These fucking facial expressions. Russell, just a smile on his face. Fuck. The facial reaction. It's... It's not the dialogue that kills me. It's the facial reactions. <laughs> We're so beautiful. Orlando marched forward, snatching up a colander from where it was hanging and promptly dropped it over Thanatos. Well, you've trapped him, now what? I guess slide something underneath and find something heavy to put on top so we have him secure until we find out who he belongs to? Um. Are you alright in there? I could hear him kick against the side of the colander. Wait. Um, uh, are you alright in there? I could hear him kick against the side of the colander, but only once, seemingly resigned to being held down. He'll be fine. He has air holes. Uh, I suppose so. Does he have a name? Oh, um, mm -hmm, um, oh yeah. Uh, Oswin called him Thanatos. Thanatos? God of the dead, huh? You know what that name means? That almost sounds like you know what that name means. Does it matter who knows what about whatever name? Who named their rat after God of Death? Orlando slipped a plate under the colander and quickly passed it off to Roswell, who almost fumbled the contained rat, but held it solidly from above. So I get to decide what we're doing with this. Well, I mean, I don't mind putting him somewhere after I finish the dishes, unless someone else wants to take over. I'd happily walk the dish if I didn't have to deal with it, but I really like him just not being in the kit then. That's easily done. Here, I'll take him. Reached out for the trap, and Roswell made no sign of handing it over. Do you think he belongs to Benson? Maybe Oswin? If he belongs to Oswin, then why is he letting a rat wander around the house? I guess he's just used to having free reign. With the house is big, it's no wonder that he doesn't get lost. It's a, it's no wonder that he doesn't get lost. No wonder they found in the kitchen. Then he's probably hungry. Well, what do you say? Roswell jostled the trap in his arms, but got nothing in response. Instead, passing it back over to me. 
interesting rat. Very interesting, very heavy rat. What do you mean by heavy? I mean just that. He's heavy. Heavier than a normal rat anyway. Oh yeah, he's uh he's real heavy. I chuckled and watched as Roswell's face shifted. Him not looking too pleased about something. Orlando, meanwhile, was already sliding to position himself at the sink now that I was holding the rat. How about you go deal go and deal with it, Dave? Oh, uh, sure. Want some help? Oh, Thor. I was kinda talking to uh Gestured at me and I shook my head, flashing him a quick smile. Now nah, it'll be fine, I'll just go find somewhere safe to put him. Realistically, I wanted to have some words with Thanatos, but that was going to be hard while keeping the secret that he could talk. Yeah, we can just skip all that. We could have skipped all that. But I wanted to reread it. Because it's beautiful. Probably my favorite scene. The rat? Yeah. Yeah, this entire scene. I know, it's probably my favorite scene. You know, other than the confession scene between Dave and the Derg. Oh, uh, let's see, there's one thing. Oh, yeah? Well, I say one thing, but it's more a bunch of little things. Bad things? Oh, not at all. If anything, it's a little cute, maybe? Please don't make me ask again. Sorry. You know, he and Oz would interact. It's a little cute, if almost comical. They seem to be friends, or on good terms enough, anyway. He threw a spoon at Oz when across the table, remember? Maybe Roswell was just hungry? Stop joking around. Do you think maybe they're related? Because they're boars? Dave, come on, please. Try harder. Don't you think they look the same? Because they're boars? Okay, like, I guess their eyes are the same color. Granted, Rothwell's pretty thought, but he could have just been, um, unfortunate in that sense. So, because they have the same eye color and both boars are related? No, just other things. Similar fur color, very headstrong. Don't tell either of them I said this, but, like, very good at being difficult. So, what? Haas was right? Oswin's his dad? Of course not. But it could buy an uncle, maybe. I guess that's possible. Roswell's mom and dad organized this whole thing, and it'd be easier if it was with a relative, right? That's what I was thinking, but it's not as if all boards are related, mind you. Yeah. This entire fucking game. Nervous Dean is nervous. Hang on, I, I want to re... I want to... I want to reread the confession scene. So I'm going to reread it. Because it's probably, like, one of my favorite scenes. My, like, my second favorite. Okay. Orlando. He flinched but said nothing, trembling as I came to stand next to him, unsure. The moment he couldn't play off, he hadn't heard me. He quickly... He... He quickly got up, wiping his tears and flashing me a quick smile. Dave, what what are you doing here? I, um, before that, are you okay? Okay, bye. Uh, me? Yeah, I'm fine. What happened with Dean? I thought they'd be, um, about that. Uh, I chuckled, the smile fading from my face soon after. It, it didn't spark, or that's what he said anyway. Eddie was meant to feel something but didn't, and that was it, really. That's, oh, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? What about you? You're the one crying. Hiya. I'm not. I gave him a look and he broke down again, sobbing. It's not fair. It's not fair, Dave. What's what's not fair? Why did I agree to help him take you on a date? Why did I try so hard to put you two together when all along... He trailed off, unable to finish between his hiccups. When all along, you... um, I didn't want to put words in his mouth, but I got his meaning pretty loud and clear. All this fussing about what's going to happen after this fake hasten was helping me put things down, but now... That just sucks. It does, yeah. Dave, I'm so sorry. You have nothing to apologize for, Orlando. I mean it. He took one of my hands in his and looked me in the eye. As best as he could, anyway, while wiping away tears. I'm sorry that I didn't tell you sooner or clearly that I love you this month. Yeah, well... I gestured with my free hand how we'd done earlier when we were standing in the same room. Gay problems, right? God, that's so dumb. It sums it up nicely enough, though. It's very much a gay problem, huh? Yeah, gay problems. He laughed, shaking his head. Sorry. Don't be sorry, Orlando. I have gay problems of my own. Can I help with them at all? 
Orlando, you are my gay problem. I love you too. What? I love you too, Orlando. But I... I don't know, like, what's meant to happen next, but this feels right. This feels different, better than what was between me and Dean. Just so we're clear, I love you more than a friend does. I look at you and my heart gets warm and fuzzy and like... I know. Okay, good. Reached over and tried to wipe what tears were left on his cheek and he just laughed. I also love this scene. I'll be okay, but um, what did you want to happen now? I honestly don't know. Is there anything you wanted to do? Can I kiss you? Properly, I mean. Yeah, I think I'd like that. He leaned in carefully and worked my mouth open with his tongue. He was gentle, warm, and held me tight as if he was afraid I'd suddenly leave. Pulling back for just a second to make sure I was still there, he pulled me in for a second kiss and I tried my best to mimic what he was doing to me. I felt my inexperience was showing, but let him take the lead. He broke away slowly, his nose resting on mine, and I could feel the rumbling through his body as he just held me close. That wasn't to say that he didn't sneak one last peck in. He pulled away again, giggling to himself and lightly bouncing on his feet. I'm so, so happy right now! Yeah? You have no idea! He put his hands on my sides and lifted me up a little before setting me down. I have you! I finally can call you mine! Yeah! Once again, he lifted me up and hugged me tight against his front, keeping my feet barely off the floor. Orlando! Put me down! It was accompanied with laughter, and he laughed alongside me before kissing me quickly again on the muzzle. Yeah, we love to see the gays win. Come on, you! Let's go upstairs! What's upstairs? What are the dishes? Fuck the dithes. How flatly he'd spoken caught me off guard, and felt his hand take mine again. Fuck the dishes, I guess. I felt like we were doing something forbidden, scurrying off to Orlando's room, much like we'd gotten we'd just gotten back home after picking up a new game. He was giddy, his tail barely clearing the door before snapping it shut once we were both inside. Then off came his shirt, and once more I felt his hands on my body. God, there's so many things I wanted to do and try, and now... His smile quickly faded as he noticed his hands ready to grab me again. Am I going too fast? A little... Sorry, I guess I'm just excited. Not nervous? Nervous was leading up to this point. But I'm guessing this is maybe a bit much. Honestly, I don't know. You've done all this stuff before. I haven't, and it's exciting. Did we stop? Well, I took my shirt off and threw it to the floor, grinning with my hands on my hips. Maybe we could try a few things. Orlando had me quickly in his arms again, and soon enough we'd made our way over to the bed. He doted on me and handled me with such care as if I was a precious gem or that I'd break at any moment. Still, above all else, I felt loved, and with his hand in mine, we spent an intimate time together. Out of breath, we lay side by side. Yeah. They did the deed. They... They did the... The fact that I have it memorized on what to do... That fuck. I just remembered something that I'm t I did. You can't. You can't see it. But like, right beside me, the cupcake wa cupcake wars is on. Right beside. Me. <laughs> they had sex in front of cupcake wars. Sex right beside Cupcake Wars. Why do I have it on? Like you, you think I'm lying, but I'm not. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Like, hang on. Let me, let me like position my laptop or like lift it up a little bit so you can like see what I mean. See, it's like it's it's right there. It's it's fucking right right there. Fucking Cupcake Wars. Oswin wandered in with Benson at some point, not saying anything to us, and continued on to the kitchen looking just as tired as I felt. Hey, everyone. This fucking kitchen. <laughs> That's putting it lightly. 
Everyone's attention went over to the door leading into the kitchen where Osmond was standing, coffee in hand. Thanatos is... a little gremlin, if I'm being honest. He made his way over to the table and stopped next to me before drinking from his mug and giving me a look. I... He's not too bad, but he's not exactly... helpful. You're not going to tell them the important part. Oh, right, he's, um, also the vault. Confused looks were shared around the table, again with Oswin sighing. Would this be easier for me to go get him? It might be better to hear it from his mouth. I already feel like I'm crazy. Not a problem, the secret's out now anyway. Oi! Marty here! Ha <laughs> ha! Why do I keep giving him the McDonald's laugh? I looked over to Oswin, but he just raised his eyebrows mid-gulp of his coffee, seeming a mix between amused and intrigued by the answer. <laughs> the table briefly looked to Oswin for confirmation, but he seemed more interested in filling up his mug with more coffee. Yeah. <laughs> well, we have this explanation. We had this explained to us some days ago when we learned about who's in the woods. Morphic resonance and trauma go hand in hand to trigger past memories. Real past memories. Oswin grunted and I caught him side-eyeing Roswell but kept quiet beyond that. Before anyone could get the words out, Oswin was now standing. In theory, that person should be me. Alas, that's not the case. What are you talking about, master? I could see the smile on his face and the way he stressed that last word that made me wonder specifically what he was playing at. But then who? Y'all don't need to know that. The gays. They win! Ah! I can verify this. I was consulting on if there was anything that could be done after the hospital issued their diagnosis. Regrettably. Roswell has the right of it that is untreatable. That it is untreatable. Everyone seemed to stay quiet as Oswin spoke, his tone level and calm. It is not easy to tell a child that they are going to die, but from speaking with Roswell's mother, they sought out every avenue they could think of. Mom and Dad were very accommodating with answering what questions I had. I barely remember what I had, what I asked, given it was so long ago, so chances are I asked the same thing multiple times over. That was the advice of the consulting pediatrician. Granted, I'd second that advice. I think it was the right call. I appreciate knowing what's happening to me. When I got sick at times and whatever. I hope you're happy with yourself. I've pushed the conversation in a way that best benefits me, yes. Didn't really want to get chased around the room by Tyson again. Roswell, are you alright? No, not really, but that had to be done, right? That's right. At least you know now, but... Where does that get us? What happens now? I believe I'm going to take Roswell somewhere so he's not alone. Perhaps a slow game of chess. I'm sure I have some candy somewhere. But I'm able to hang out with him. Wait. But I'm able to hang out with him! Oswin shook his head. You have plans already, f from what I've been told. Plus, besides, I think this calls for a doctor's touch. But you're not a doctor, remember? Boy, you are absolutely still young enough for me to hurl you through a window. For me to hurl you through a window. Mind your manners. Thanatos, do I die from being hurled out the window? No. Good to know. I'll leave Thanatos in your care for the time being, Dave. He pulled Roswell out of his chair and nudged him towards the door to the foyer. We'll have a chat later. <laughs> it probably would. No, no. If we truly want it to be a Tom and Jerry skit, get hostages. <laughs> We need to be taking this seriously, and we just aren't. Like. <laughs> Give Haas Tyson's personality and have Haas chase after Thanatos. That would be, that would be hilarious. Roswell the Gremlin. He's, he's my favorite, though. Then it was just Th Thanatos and me staring at one another. So... Done already. You're waiting for us to finish? At the behest of Oswin, he believed things might get a bit complicated and figured he'd spare me the need to play the mediator. Oh, it wasn't so bad, really. Then a crawled from my shoulder, down my arm close to the counter, and started to look around the kitchen, seemingly letting me have free reign. It begs the question where Oswin is now, though. You weren't listening in? Now that wouldn't be very polite, would it? 
Well, Ross will explain his life circumstances. It's alright, Dave. I'm aware of how little time Roswell has with us. Oh, okay. Now, I believe you had something you wished to ask of me. How'd you know? He glanced across at Thanatos before turning his eyes to me. Oz went along with other contributing factors rated as a, poten as a potential outcome for today. I'm sorry. We can avoid it if you want. No, no, it's quite alright, although I do wonder how much you'll get from it. The three of us headed back into the dining room, and I dropped Thantos back onto the table as I looked around, wondering how best to start. To clarify, you wanted to see when we could find out from what you saw in the vault regarding my death, yes? Right. Well then, let's see what you remember. It leaves us in a very difficult position, Dave. Then how do we fix it? Perhaps it's better if I frame it this way. Do you know to whom I am most loyal? Also, and obviously, right? Yes, and... No. More specifically, I give my loyalty to the Hammond family in order of seniority. Okay. Of the current members of the family, Oswin is the one that sits as the family head, as it were. But should another family member be present, well, that may change. Florencia ain't here anymore, in other words. Sure, okay, but how does that affect what we're talking about now? Because should Oswin want something kept quiet and request that to me, to a fault I will obey. But why? What if they go after Oswin next? What if they come for someone else? You holding on to who you think it is just puts all of us at risk, doesn't it? I respect that you're upset about my decisions, but I assure you that I'm not budging. But the others! Benson put up a hand, shaking his head. To unknown assailants, I'll be of little help anyway. In this instance, the best I can do is bring it up with Oswin. And you are more than welcome to do the same. No, take a break. I'll be seeing you later. Oswin might want to chat later, so I'll be in the lab to listen in. In your cage? What do you take me for? He scurried off after that towards the foyer and then out of sight. A little? It's not like we're doctors either. Well, Othwin kind of is. Was. But he just said the same thing Rothwell told us. Yeah. Guess I'll just have to take my blessings where I can find them, huh? Eh. And Oswin? He took Rothwell to go take his mind off things given everyone else left. Well, now I feel a little bad. Why? I concur. Seems more appropriate that a family friend would help here. Especially someone who has a background in medicine. As opposed to one of his normal friends? All his normal friends left, right? Yeah. Hang on. Ah, my back. He wandered over to Dean and started to scramble up the leg of his pants, then up his front, settling on his shoulder. He's currently speaking with Oswin in his lab. Great! Let's go! Let's take the passage through the basement. I led the way down to the basement and then over to the wall where the passage was. Without thinking, I opened it up, gesturing for the others to step inside. When no one did, Thanatos tugged on Dean's ear until he was for co coerced into entering first. You're not playing your best today, Roswell. Maybe. Check. I'm not the only one playing sloppily. He followed the voices through the dark, my hand occasionally touching the wall to know that I was still walking straight. Checkmate. Oswin's annoyed grumbles quickly turned into loud laughter. The kind of rumbling laughter that almost sounded foreign. Strange in that the most I'd heard so far was an amused chuckle. As I pushed the door to lab open, Oswin's laughter stopped dead and the two people we expected to see were sitting there in a daze. Hey. Dave? And the whole bloody entourage. We just wanted to make sure Roswell was okay, that's all. I see. Wait, was he angry earlier? Yes. I don't understand. I'm fine. Orlando stepped forward, playing with his hands. I'm sorry I ran out like that. I just... Is it really happening? That you're dying? Yeah, it's happening. I thought I made it clear at breakfast. What Roswell has is untreatable. There's nothing that can be done. There's really nothing. But Oswin, what about... Um... He looked furious, jaw clenched, and I got the impression I was on the way to saying something that I shouldn't be. You have something in mind, Dave? I- no, not- not really. 
Looking around the room, I saw various beakers and tubes of things, the cabinet that held specimens that Oswin had said was dangerous, and who knows what else. I just thought that Oz that maybe Oswin could make something, medicine, or I don't know. I don't think Oswin is some great alchemist, Dave. Uh, no offense. None taken. But I'm okay, really. It comes and goes in waves, but I promise I'm fine. It's sad, sure, but it's what I've known long enough that I don't know anything else. I'd just rather spend what time I do have left with friends is all. Now you're down here playing chess with some old guy. Oswin grunted and backed off, leaving to go into the adjoining room without another word. Hall stepped up with Tyson shuffling along in his wake. You'd rather spend time with him than us. I assumed you needed time to adjust, given, well, you did walk out like the others. Could have stayed with Dave, though. Good point. I guess just like the rest of you, I needed some time to myself, too. Time to yourself. With Oswin? You know what I mean. Well, we can go do something together now. We have to induct Tyson at some point anyway. I'm sorry. What? Haas turned sharply and patted him lightly on the cheek. Don't worry about it. His fur bristled, but he didn't say anything, grumbling something incoherent under his breath instead. I bet you don't even have a shirt prepared. Then I'll think of something until we can get an official one. Dave, help? I, uh, don't think I can? Shit. Dean sat there and toasted down on the desk and watched as he wandered over to the chessboard, picking up a stray piece and wandering off with it. If you say you're okay, that's all that matters. If peace of mind is what you're after with your request, then I second Dave's promise. Mike, that two of us, or I guess three, including Dave. Can't offer much aside from that, but hopefully the worst case scenario doesn't come to pass. Hopefully it doesn't, but who knows what the next week will bring. Nodding slowly, I watched as Haas and Orlando swarmed Roswell again. Soon after, by Sal, who was assuming they were planning some group activity, no doubt. In the corner of my eye, I noticed Oswin watching from the other room. Standing in the dark, and it was hard to make out exactly what his expression was. When he noticed me, he... But when he noticed me looking, he turned away again. Wandering over to the other room, I stuck my head in to see what Oswin was doing in the dark. There were no lights on compared to the lab, although the main room where everyone else was seemed to just be lit by the various monitors and small light sources that littered the room. Oswin? I kept my voice down, shooting a look over my shoulder to see if anyone had noticed me off to the side and caught Thanto standing there watching. He leaned on the chess piece that he'd snagged before and shot me that smug grin he liked to use before gesturing me to go inside. Once your friends leave, we can speak. His voice was as low as mine, but there was something else in his tone. Not sadness. Maybe worry? It was hard to place, but it was clear that he wasn't wanting to talk immediately about whatever it was he'd called me for yesterday. He got me out of the room and cleared his throat, drawing everyone's attention. I'm glad you've had your reunion, but this room isn't one I typically let guests into. Planning on discussing things further, might you do so elsewhere? There were mumbled apologies before people started to move, Roswell seemingly leading the way forward. Two things before you leave. First, I'm going to be borrowing Dave for a little bit. I'll send him upstairs when we're done. Second, well played, Roswell. With a small smile, Roswell continued to lead the others out and closed the door to the lab behind him, leaving just me and Oswin, with Thanatos still on the desk. Thought they'd never leave. That's a lie, and you know it. Well, I do like to pretend to not know every outcome, don't I? Oswin, what did you want to talk about? Right. I want to talk to you about the few next few days, if you don't mind. In addition, your conclusions to your investigations thus far. Why? Oh, hiya. Fuck does he mean by borrow? Oh, oh. Um. We're just like. We're just like. I, I get. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. He gestured to the available chair that Roswell seemed to be sitting in, and I took it. In simple terms, I want to cross-check what I know against what you do. You know stuff? I've come to my conclusions, yes, but I'll admit my reasoning is flawed. Well, what did you want to know first? Do you have a prime suspect for what's been happening? A modus operandi. Anything that links these events together. Not really? What of last night? Well, I foiled it by talking to Thanatos and finding, um, would we call it a loophole? Sure, a loophole works. I just had to keep Tyson out of his room for the night, that's all. It's true, the Master didn't factor in a loophole like this happening. Which we're no closer to figuring out either. That's not entirely true. What makes you say that? Assuming Thanatos was telling the truth at breakfast, then you can at least narrow down some of the suspects, or at least, or at the very least start forming a picture. It almost sounds like you figured it out. 
I have my guesses, yes. And those guesses are, if I tell you, do you promise not to be defensive? You're about to point the finger at one of my friends. I've narrowed down the possibilities to, well, two. Two that you might want to consider, anyway. Oh, this will be good! The first is Hoss. He's been here before, knows his way around, and quite frankly doesn't play with an open hand in the way someone like Orlando does. We can roll out Haas. Why? Because he's your friend? I suppose we can treat his failed attempt at fixing the ECM as evidence to that. Although why Thantos would actually choose Haas as a master leaves me to believe it's the least likely of the two options. And the other being... You. I cracked a smirk when he said it, assuming he was joking when his expression didn't change, I frowned. That's not very funny. I didn't mean for it to come across as a joke. Just consider the facts we have to go off of. I looked at Thanatos, who was still smiling to himself, watching us both carefully. Through virtue of your father, we know you're connected to the vault. Evidenced by the visions. Given Thanatos is the vault, the connection established there is, well, obvious. But I only met Thanatos the day I met you in the lab a little over a week ago. There's more evidence. Circumstantial, but it's there. Thanatos sought out you and converses. To my knowledge, mostly with you. He breaks out of his cage to go discuss matters with you. Outside one instance with a dean, but... But that seems more like an outlier. He looked at me over, quirking a brow. And from what I've heard, I shouldn't need to explain the line drawn between you and Dean, do I? No, I, I guess not. However, there's a big problem with his accusation that bugs me. What's that? If you were his master, then it would mean that his allegiance was set to you the day you arrived. His first few days, you conspired with him to make some elaborate plan and got to work immediately. I didn't! Besides, even if I did, why would I go around stopping these things from happening? Indeed. A question I would pose to Thanatos. Eh, what about me? You remember every iteration of your existence, including the first time you met your master, correct? What of it? What was your first meeting like, the very first meeting? Why do you want to know? Answer the question. No. Am I missing something? Austin wants to know what changes from loop to loop when I meet my master each time. He thinks he's going to reveal some great secret that I've been hiding, but he's wrong. Well, that sucks. Or my sister here should get you to talk. What's your Florencia going to do about it? That's not what you called her, is it? Shut up! Oswin picked up a beaker and realized what he was doing before he'd thrown it at Thanatos. He set it back down gently, breathing out slowly. Are you okay? I'm stressed, trying to figure this out. It shouldn't be this hard, but it's like playing chess against someone who has already played the same game many times over. Can I ask a question? Of course. Sorry not to you, but to Thanatos. What? Whatever your master wanted to accomplish, the um, saving just one person thing? What about it? They haven't succeeded once yet, have they? I don't know. You don't know or you won't say. What I mean is, my memory is incomplete. I don't know. How can you not know? You said something to me once, Junior. Something that most times I... Most times through I've brushed off, but it's something that could still be possible. What did you say to him that has him at this much of a loss? The vault cannot show you your own death. You cannot pass on memories if you do not survive. Oh yeah, I think I remember asking that. If I've never seen myself die, how do I know? Shorter answer is that I don't. Which would mean that we're in a loop of you failing by trying the same thing over and over, yes? Not exactly. It means that I'm chalking that up to a fail and continuing on. So if I've already succeeded once, I wouldn't know. But where does that leave you as far as trying things? I believe I understand the problem. Are you asking in a sense of how does he know what works and what doesn't? Kinda. Were you not listening? I don't know! Why did you name him Thanatos anyway? I didn't. What do you mean? I thought- Wait, so you made him, right? The actual body and like- I gestured at a loss to Thanatos, not really sure of myself anymore. I'll save you the trouble. My master named me. Sort of. What do you mean, sort of? From the second iteration onwards, I've gone by Thanatos. It's what I introduced myself as when I woke up, rejecting the original name in favor of, well, this. What was your original name, then? He looked to Oswin, then back to me. Before he could reply, Oswin cut him off. Hypnos. I frowned, sitting back in my chair. I don't go by that anymore. So, Oswin named you originally, way back at the beginning? Florencia did, actually. Florencia did, actually. I was going to name him Algernon. Before Junior here go Junior here goes and asks, Oswin was just being clever. This name a really smart lab rat in a story. Oh, thanks. Is it a nice story? The rat ends up dying. Oh. As does his master, although much later. I don't think I like this story. It's not exactly normal reading material, although the book is in a library should you wish to go read it. Not that it'll offer you much help here. Um, sure, okay. Oswin rubbed his head, breathing through his nose. 
How many days do we have? Until Judgment Day. Who's being judged? Don't worry about that for now. Thanatos, I want a day. Six days at this rate. Six. You're sure? It could vary it could vary by one or two depending on what my master does next now that this last attempt failed. Things could be expedited or held off, I won't know until later. Do we know what's going to happen sooner than that? Is there anything we can do to prepare? I'd be careful taking anything he says at face value, Dave. Oswin, I need a favor. What's the favor? Agreed. What could you possibly want of me? Forbid Benson from firing his gun tomorrow. Failure to do so, well, I'll leave it up to you to decide which way to go. What's going to happen tomorrow? That wasn't part of the favor. Keep Benson from firing his gun and things will be alright. Alright, for who? Everyone, of course. Oswin, was that all you wanted to talk me talk to me about? I believe so. Why? Because there was something Benson said I wanted to ask you about. Go on. You said that you suspected either Hoss or myself to be the one behind everything. That you only suspected us, right? I did. Why? Because Benson seems convinced he knew who tried to kill him. And more than that, you also know, but told him not to tell anyone who he thought it was. Oh, now this is interesting! What makes you believe he's telling you the truth? Because he has no reason to lie, right? If I ask you and you deny telling him such a thing, then he's clearly outed as lying. That doesn't make any sense, because he doesn't gain anything from lying if I can easily check. Sounds sound logic so far. So then I just go back to Benson and he'd say you're lying, which flies in the face of what he said before about being loyal to a fault to the Hammond family. He said that? Yeah. Oswin rubbed his chin before looking to Thanatos, still as pleased with himself as when we'd started this new topic. I think you're more trapped than I normally am. Well, it was me. Oh, fuck. I did it. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. So. So. Thanatos jokingly referred to Oswin as master. And Oswin killed Benson. And Benson was neutralized. Well, no, Oswin was neutralized, but he also wasn't neutralized. Except Oswin was already neutralized because Benson can just. Which means, if we're going by that exact same logic, then Oswin was the one who killed Orlando in that one thing. Which means, and this is just a theory, that Oswin is a mastermind. But that's just a theory. A very visual novel theory. I'll be expecting a copyright strike. It was me. I did it. Why? Do I need a reason? Benson's your family. You wouldn't just try and kill him once, then give up. Or even thank me for it afterwards and agree to meet face to face afterwards either. Fair point. What is it you're meant to say? Check. Oh, so we're playing a game, are we? He shook his head, chuckling. Then allow me to make my move next. Consider everything that you've described. What motive could I possibly have to kill Benson, you say? It's not that complicated. Go on. Killing Benson is just more fair. In truth, I want you all off my mountain. If a murder were to occur, you would be forced to leave. I'm not about to add another child to my list, extending that as far as young adults. He picked out a bit of flint bit of lint in his coat, regarding it before flicking it aside. As for you, on the other hand, boy, what better way than to cover my tracks with science? And some elaborate story about the intricacies of time travel, including a talking rat. You ate it up hook, line, and sinker. But you're lying! The words were barely out of my mouth before sharp pain ran through my head and I slumped over the desk. We're going to leave off here tonight.
But no, no, hear me out, hear me out. Oswin is the mastermind. Although, did he just confirm it? I don't know. Anyways, stay safe, have a good night. This is getting interesting. And I will see you all tomorrow.